When conducting a report, there's no need to include absolutely everything in your checkout report. Only if there's a change in the condition cleanliness from the biggest from the original check-in. It's the biggest time killer and adds no value to a report. What I'd recommend is when you're looking through a report, take a look at the previous tenant's feedback, if there is any, as you can see here on the app, as I'm shown here. If there is a change, you can record that accordingly. Use the voice dictation and use the highlight if you want to. So I'm just typing in here or speaking into the app using the voice dictation, there's no longer a scratch on the door as this was previously recorded by the tenant. You can highlight it in bold, underline, or in italics if you want to. You can free type in the bots as well. And if you want to record any maintenance issues, you can do at the bottom as well by looking at the condition cleanliness and highlighting the maintenance issue as well and flagging it for maintenance. The key thing is, if you want to, if you do want to include this in report, make sure you tick at the bottom, include this item in the report. If you don't tick this, then it won't be included and your report won't show this.